Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to have a review. We are going to try three Path McGrath makeup products. For the people who don't know me, my name is Leonor, I'm a makeup artist, a makeup lover and a makeup enthusiast and here in my channel you can always find videos about makeup. And today I'm going to try for the first time these three products from Path McGrath. I'm really excited to share with you what I thought about them, if they are good, if they are not. We are also going to have a wear test of the products, so if you want to know everything, just keep on watching. I am just really excited to try today's products. Beth McGrath has been a brand that I've been really liking to know more and I'm really excited to try these new products. We have three and as I told you on the Sephora Black Friday haul, two of them I bought, the other one Sephora sent me. I don't know if it was a mistake or if they just sent me because they wanted, but I'm really happy that I have another product to try. And the products that we have here are first the concealer, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. It's been one product that I wanted to try for so long. I love trying new concealers and I've heard amazing things about this one, so I'm really excited to try it, see what this one can do. The other product that I have, it's this one in here. It's the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. And it's other product that I wanted to try for so long because I heard also amazing things about it. And the last one, it's a lipstick. This is the one that came into my packaging and I don't know why. <laughs> it's the Lip Fetish Divine Lip Shine. I'm really excited to try it as well, see what this one can do. But before I start applying them on me, of course I want to talk a little bit about each of the products, tell you what they say on the website that they can do. So this one comes in 36 shades, it's light weighted and full coverage, it's a radiant matte finish, it's a velvety feel, it's lasting wear, blends seamlessly, optical smoothing, non comedogenic tapered, flexible applicator and it comes with 5 ml of product. About the powder, they say they have a soft focus, a silky texture, it's blurring and it has 4 grams of product. And about the lipstick, they say that it's a lacquer-like shine, buttery texture, nourishing feel, plumping, smoothing effect, non-sticky and it has medium coverage. And it has 2.5 grams of product. So let's start applying the products on my skin. I already applied a foundation. The one that I used was this one in here from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear. My color is the 2W1, I love this foundation. And of course that I wanted to try with a foundation that I know, that I already know how it works. I already took the concealer out of the box, as you can see. It's a very like simple packaging, as you can see. Black, here we can see transparent of the bottle. It's in glass and it says Path McGrath labs in gold. So very simple but very classic. The color that I bought on the concealer was the LM9. I hope that it's a good color for me, we will see it when I start applying it. Just doing a swatch so you can see the color that we have in here. It has a peach undertone on it and that's how I like my concealers, that they have a little bit of a peach undertone, not so much of a yellow because I feel like it's the color that conceals better my under eye. I don't know how much product we are going to need, so I'm going to apply a little bit and then if I need more, I can grab more. I'm going to spray it with my sponge. It's looking good. It concealed well my dark under area. I think that you can see there. I'm liking how it's looking. I'm just going to apply a little bit more in some areas because I feel like I need just applied a little bit more and I'm loving how it's looking. Hope that you can see there on the camera. I am really liking. It's looking very beautiful, very perfect and I really liked the color of the concealer. I think that it's a great one for me. I think I really chose a good color. So I'm happy with that. Now one thing that I want to see if it oxidizes. 
so I have this in here in my hand for a little while let me apply a little bit here it does a little bit but it's not like a big much so for me it's not a like a big problem now let's pass to the powder I already opened the little packaging here we have the powder and let's open here we have it the product it seems like it has a good color so to try it I'm going to use a puff that I have in here I'm going to use this one that I have from Chanel apply it first on my under eyes just doing this to take the lines that I have right now now apply the powder it took that effect that we have that it's creamy right now it's like matte but it's not looking like very very matte it's looking very beautiful let me now apply on the other eye as well the lines now let's apply on the rest of my face I'm really liking how the skin is looking. It seems like it's blurring, like the powder says. Blurring and the right powder. I am really liking how it's looking. Tell me what you are seeing on the camera, if you are liking it or not. It's not looking very cakey or anything like that. I'm really enjoying how my skin is looking underneath the eyes and also on my skin. The thing that I probably would like was the lighter one to put underneath my eyes because I feel like if I had this part in here a little bit lighter, it would look even better so I think that the lighter one would be the perfect one to apply underneath the eyes what I'm feeling is like the powder here on my pores that I have there are some powders that when you apply on the skin makes your pores that you can see them more and with this one I don't think that I know that they are in here I'm seeing them but it's not enhancing the pores so I'm liking a lot so now I'm just going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'm going to come back to apply the lipstick and talk more about the products so I'll be right back so guys I'm back I just finished the rest of my makeup I'm going to leave down there the other products that I use on my makeup if you want to know which ones they were and now let's try the lipstick I already took it out of the box as you can see it's here it has a beautiful packaging pink with gold lips in here it's gold as well in here as well it says the color the color of this one it's the love interest and I'm going to open it so you can see the color it's a very powerful pink but as this one is not a matte it's more creamy of course it's not going to look like this exactly on the lips I have to be honest if it was me I would probably wouldn't buy this color to use but we have it and it's a product a new product to try a new formula so let's do that <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be as much color as it has. As I told you, it's not a color that I would choose if I had to choose the color, but it's not looking bad. It's a really bright color. I'm not used to use this kind of colors, but it's looking beautiful on the lips. The lips feel very soft, so it's more of a lipstick that you can use every day if you don't like to use matte lipsticks like I do. <laughs> It's one that it's going to keep your lips hydrated. It's going to give you another feeling to the lips. I'm liking the feeling that I'm having on my lips, so I'm happy with that. It's really a creamy formula. It reminds me of that Labello lipsticks that you use. It gives you a little bit of color. This one has more color than the Labello ones, at least the ones that I have but like the feeling that I have it on my lips it's almost like that it's like a lip balm but with color if I had to buy it I probably wouldn't because for the feeling that I have on my lips I would use a labello that it doesn't cost as much but I can't say that it's looking beautiful that the lips are looking good that I'm liking the feeling of it 
if you like this kind of lipsticks and you would like to try Beth McGrath or you would like to try this lipstick if you like this kind of lipsticks I think that you would like it and now what I want to do is a wear test of the concealer and the powder so I'm going to come back in the end of the day showing you how my skin is looking showing you what I'm feeling about the products, what I thought about them during the day. I will be right back to tell you everything. So guys, I'm back. I know that I am with a different sweater. <laughs> In the beginning of the video, I was with a shirt, but I went out of my house and it's cold. So I put this on and I'm back to talk about the products. It's been eight hours since I'm wearing the makeup, so I decided that it was a good time for me to come back and show you how it's looking. I am really liking how the skin is looking. I have a mirror in here and I'm looking at myself and I really have to say that the skin is looking good after eight hours. Of course, it doesn't look exactly as it looked when I applied the products eight hours ago. That's normal, but after the eight hours, it looks good. About the concealer, I'm really liking how it's looking. Of course, that I applied the powder on top of the concealer as well, but I'm really liking how my under eye is looking. I hope that you can see there on the camera. I don't have like the lines of the concealer in here. I'm happy with that because with some concealers it does that like in the end of the day you can see the marks of the concealer on these little wrinkles that we have on the eyes so I'm really happy uh, I can see uh, my wrinkle in here starting to appear but it doesn't look too much or anything like that so I'm not mad about it and it's the end of the day in the beginning when I applied and put everything it wasn't here. I'm really enjoying how my skin is looking in the moment. I feel like when I applied the products it was a little bit more matte than it's right now but it's normal because our skin is going to produce a little bit of oil during the day. I really have to say that I liked both of the products. I think that my skin is looking very beautiful, very perfect for eight hours where of the products. Of course that I want to try them like separately, like trying the concealer with other powders, trying the powder with other concealers, just to see how everything works. One thing that I wanted to say as well is I think that the powder in the light color would be the perfect one for me to apply underneath my eyes. I think that if I had a little bit of a powder that it's going to give some light uh, to the under eyes would be perfect because I really like how it's looking but for me it looks like it's a little bit more dark than I wanted it to be so I think that the light one would be a good color for me to use underneath my eyes I think that when I get the chance I'm going to grab the light one but I'm not saying that the medium is a bad one I think that the medium looks amazing to apply as a powder all over your face so I think that both of them will work uh, on different ways so about also the lipstick that I used the truth is when I finished the video the other part of the video I took it off because I record other video I also did a short here for YouTube and so I decided to take it off it's really not a preference of mine that kind of lipsticks as I told you I think that it's a good it has a good pigmentation it has a good color even though it's not a my favorite color because I think that it's too pink. The truth is I'm really happy that I tried the product because it's a new product, it's a new formula for me to try. But if it wasn't for that, that like they offered me the product, I wouldn't try it. Wanna know what you thought about the products, if you already knew them, if you already tried them or if you would like to. So go down there in the comments area and tell me everything. If you like this video and you don't want to miss any of my other videos here on my YouTube channel, don't forget to also go down there and click on the subscribe button and also on the ring bell so you can get all of the notifications when I upload a new video. And if you like this one, don't forget to also give it a thumbs up.
I'm also going to leave down there the other social media that I use so you can go there and follow me as well. And now that we are in the end of the video, I just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching my video until the end. I really hope that you liked it and now I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!